Hey guys, here's a tip for Tesla Model S and I think this will apply to Model X owners as well. Um, I picked up an adapter uh, that's a TT30 and you're probably thinking, what's a TT30? Well, a TT30 plug, focus here. Sorry about that. Basically it looks like that. And what it is is a 30 amp, 120 volt connection. Commonly found on um, campers, RVs, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do here is just show you this adapter that I bought and uh, show you how you might use it on your Model S. You might find yourself uh, on a road trip and there's no good charging locations nearby and you might have to use an adapter like this at an RV park. So basically this is a con, it's by Contec. Um, you can see the part number there on the front, but basically it uh, connects, adapts uh, a plug, a TT30 and P, and P stands for plug, uh, with the NEMA 1450 receptacle. I'll put a link to this in, in the description. So thing else. I haven't actually tested this yet, but I did put a note on here. Oh, having some real focus issues. Set car to 24 amps before plugging in. I put that note on there. So basically there's your oops, there's your connector, your plug, and there's your receptacle. So this would simply plug into here and then uh, plug into the, the other connection. I'll just take you over and we'll take a look at what that looks like. So basically with this camping outlet we have a normal 15 amp, a 30 amp, TT30. And there's a little slide here, so. Uh, there. So there's also 50 amp service here. A 30 amp is more common. But if you're on the road, you're really gonna want to plug into that 50 amp if you can. So basically this will plug in. Um, and since I need my hands free, I will connect that and I will come back. Just hang on. Okay, I have that connected up there. Lights aren't on here. So as it turns out, the reason the light did not come on on my universal mobile charging connector is that this thing is wired for RVs, which I found out. I had to do a little research. Uh, there's, there's two versions of these contact RV adapter plugs, and um, this is kind of the, the, the standard default one that you can order, which I have apparently, and it's not wired uh, correctly for Tesla charging. So when you look at the ends, I've taken the screws out here, started to take it apart. There's the other screws. What you'll see, and I, I don't advise that you do this, but you can actually get in there and disconnect the wires and, and uh, change them around. But basically here's the situation. On this one, um, on the TT30 connector, looking at it from this way, uh, the uh, round one is ground, and then you have a neutral on the left and a hot on the right. Neutral, hot, and uh, on the NEMA 1450, you'd have ground, hot, hot, and neutral, and the hots are tied together. Well, basically what I need to do to fix this, to make it work with the Tesla, is I need to change this so that this is neutral, this is hot, and this one's empty. And that's ground. So, no changes on the uh, TT30 end, but I need to change the 1450 end. So I'm going to go ahead and make that change. It's not really anything you need to see. I'm just going to loosen the necessary um, screws uh, and uh, move those wires over. So I'll go ahead and make that change. I'm also going to add one more note about Tesla charging only on here. Uh, many thanks to the folks on the Tesla Motors. Club.com forum 
because I was able to find that information regarding the wiring. Uh, it turns out also that if you go to, I think it's evseadapters.com, they sell uh, a version of this that's uh, correct for Tesla already, so you don't have to worry about wiring it. But if you wind up getting one like this that's, that's not wired right, um, you just need to just change those like uh, two wires there. So, or yeah, I guess two wires. So I will make this change and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, well, let's try this again. So I've got my new labels on there. I got my wire fixed up and the wiring changed. And uh, let's try this again. might just want to be careful so that you don't have, the, if you have a cover like this, it's not putting too much stress on there. So, green light, good news. So the next step isn't actually to plug it into the car. Uh, we'll do that momentarily, but first I need to go in. And you need to go into the battery settings. It's one of the few cases where you're going to have to change the charge current. So we're going to dial it back to 24 amps, and that is uh, it's because we're using the NEMA 1450 connector. It's kind of expecting to be able to use 40 amps, but it can't because on a 30 amp circuit, you only want to pull 80% continuous, so that's 24 amps. Now we can go plug it in. So, as you can see, it's charging at 24 amps. Again, still thinks it's uh, could charge up to 40 just due to the connector, the 1450 connector. So it's pulling 24 amps at 120, 21, 22 volts, which is good. And uh, I'll just let it go for a few minutes. Uh, I have found that when I'm charging, it takes upwards of 15 minutes to get up to its full actual uh, charging speed. So in a case like this where you're using the TT30 connector, it's it's one of those times where you might, you know, you might not have many choices. You're in a small town, for example, and, you know, there's no public EV chargers. Maybe you gotta, you know, hit up a campground or something. And maybe it's an emergency. You just need a little boost to get to your next town or whatever. So being 30 amps, uh, 30 amp connection. This is about double the rate of a, a typical 15 amp household circuit. One thing to note that if your car, it seems like some cars built from 2014 and older may actually limit to uh, 20 amps continuous draw on this same setting. Uh, and that's just uh, basically it's some kind of a limitation in the software where if you're using the the 1450 connector and it sees 120 volts it'll max out at 20 amps and I, I can't confirm that but when I was researching on the on the forum there it, it looked like that could be an issue one other note is that you might have some camping stores that might have a TT30 in the parking lot so if you happen to be there you know check out it might be a TT30 you could use for a little while you could also make your own version of this um, TT30 to 1450 connector. You could buy the plug-ins and a bit of wire and that would be suitable also. In my case I came across that adapter and it was really cheap on eBay and uh, as and it was new. Um, so I thought oh, it's worth the risk even if I have to rewire it and you know yeah I had to rewire it so not a big deal. Uh, it did show you though that typical RV connector or adapters I should say probably won't be compatible with the Model S just due to the wiring. Okay well I've been charging for almost 15 minutes now and it does seem to top out at a charge rate of about 12 kilometers per hour. Um, consistent uh, seems to be no problems at all charging at this rate. I'll just uh, change this here real quick so you can see the energy. So it's a three kilowatt charging rate. Anyway, uh, I hope this video has helped you. 
Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you've uh, charged with a TT30 and what adapter you're using, how it's going, that kind of thing. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, you could also just let me know in the comments if there's any specific Tesla Model S videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.